Hello everybody, this is Jamie from Team Magikarp. I uh, wanted to show you a little deck that I found at Elite Challenge in Louisville. It did pretty well actually. I didn't think of this concept before. Um, you, it's really a fairy box deck, but there's a couple of different tricks. Um, this one uses Skyfield. Now you all know what Skyfield does. You've been seeing it with Rayquaza and Shaman decks. Skyfield lets you have up to 8 Pokemon on your bench. It's really overpowered if you think about it, but there's ways that you can be able to do that. I know you say, well, you need Fairy Garden to be able to retreat. So if you use Skyfield, you can be able to have more Pokemon. And then to retreat, you use Dark Eye EX. Well, you, so you know what Dark Eye does. People have been seeing this for, what, like four years now or something? So its ability Dark Cloak, each of your Pokemon that has any Dark Energy attached to it, it has no retreat. So, if you take Darkrai and you use Rainbow Energy, you can be able to retreat for free. So, if you need to be able to get that rainbow on, you can use Aromatisse. People have been seeing Aromatisse run around for the past year. Um, it does Fairy Transfer. As often as you like during your turn, you can move a Fairy Energy anywhere that you want. So, you've seen this with like Clean Clang, all different types of cards. So let me show you the few tricks that I have up here. Um, I run three Xerneas. I just think three is good. Four kind of just powers it a little over a little bit too much. I think three is a good number for that. Basically what you want to do is get a fairy energy attached to Xerneas and start geomancing turn one if you can go second. That's most desirable. So usually with fairy box you want to try to make a counter for everything. Um, you have Charizard in here, Wing Attack, Combustion Blast. Usually you want to deal with these for Metal Decks, Verzian Genesect that still runs around quite a bit. Where I'm at, Metal is meta right now, so Charizard is, is pretty good. Um, you have a Main Metric EX. Main Metric EX. Um, one Colorless Overrun, 20 and then 20. And then Assault Laser, 60, that, and then 60 more if they have any type of tool attached to them. So if they don't have a tool attached to them, guess what we got here? Head Ringer. You know what Head Ringer does. Adds one more cost to the damage of the Pokemon. Um, usually you want to see this with Evil Tall, Lugia, Rayquaza is starting to pop up now. So if you want to be able to use Rayquaza before they get Altaria down, Head Ringer I think is a good way to go. So we have Mewtwo EX. Uh, Mewtwo War is still a thing. Mew is running around with Versatile and Night March and Shed Injadex. So I think Mewtwo would be a good addition for this. And Evil Tall EX, it just does stupid amounts of damage. Evil Ball, 20 plus 20. And then Y Cyclone can be able to recycle some energy if your Evil Tall is getting low on health. You don't have the max potion in your hand, you can just move that energy anywhere you want. So. This deck doesn't run Malamar. I don't think Malamar is really necessary for this deck. Um, but a good wall that we have, Aegislash EX. Mighty Shield blocks anything with a special energy on it. That's most of the meta right now. So anything that you, involving that I think would be a good combination. And the Big Bad Toad. Look at him with that ugly tongue. Oh god, and that's just disgusting. Anyway, you know what Quaking Punch does. 30, can't play items. So, that's the Pokemon. Um, I would recommend a Verizian for this deck. For some reason, I run three Culvers in this deck, so I think um, cut it down to two. And then put in a Verizian, I think would be very useful. Since it can shut down poison stuff. And be able to two-shot Toad, put some pressure on those big Toad decks. So, computer search, obvious, just discard two cards, get any card, put it in your hand, you don't even have to show it. Two max potion, be able to fairy transfer all the energy around, and then you can be able to heal without any negative repercussions, heal all damage off of it, put it back, and bam, attack. Um, one professor's letter, in case we don't get the energy on the hand, I think one will suffice for this. Um, you may want to put two. It's really up to you what your play style will be. Three Ultra Ball. Um, 
I think Ultra Balls would be good for this type of a deck. Um, 4v as Seeker. Usually supporters, you want to be able to get back as soon as possible. With Trump card being banned, though, I think this deck may lose a little bit of power if you was to lose all of your energy. Since Super Rod hasn't been reprinted, Sacred Ash doesn't get energy. But who knows? They may reprint Super Rod in a next set. I guess that's just something we're going to have to wait and see. So supporters, like I said, three Colrus, one Lysander. If you absolutely have to, you can be able to VS Seeker get five Lysander into play. Four N, I think that's pretty standard at this point. Four Sycamore. Uh, it's just a really good card to be able to use. Discard your hand, draw seven. And then you can VS Seeker if you need to to get all those back. One Skyla. Now here's the reason I like Skyla. If you need to be able to get your Skyfield down, somehow it was countered, or if you need to be able to get your Head Ringer or anything, I think this would be good for that. So, um, like I said, we have three Skyfield in the play. Four Muscle Band. Now, you have a lot of stuff that does damage, so you have a lot of different attackers here. So, you're going to want a Muscle Band, like, Pirate may nurture it, get some extra damage. Charizard to get the knockouts on different Pokemon. Aegis Slash, Pirates Attack, There's and then Quaking Punch 50 E. Muscle Band, I think, is very necessary for this deck. Two Head Ringer, just to disrupt a little bit. Four Rainbow Energy. And I like seven Fairy Energy. Um, you can't find Pokemon League energy anywhere, but I think this is just pretty. I have three regular ones in here as well, but that is the deck. Um, give me a few thoughts on it, and I hope you all like it. Thank you.